gathering us at the completion of the Buddha of Imam al-Busiri and we send peace and blessings upon the Prophet وسلم, his family and children, his companions and those who love him and will love him until the day of standing. Ameen, ameen, ameen. Every believing person in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in particular and all of Allah's creation in general whether they be the heavens or the earth, the animals, the trees, the waters, everything in this universe has a connection and an affiliation to Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And this affiliation and this connection to Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam manifests in different ways. And when it manifests, the beauty of the perfection and the goodness and the kindness of the Prophet ﷺ can be seen, its fragrance can be smelt, its scent uh, scents the atmosphere and the believing people and all of Allah's creation can feel that. For when the Prophet ﷺ approached the mountain of Uhud, when he approached the mountain of Uhud, Uhud realized that someone is coming towards it. Uhud realized it wasn't only somebody coming towards it, but it was his beloved, the Prophet And when the Prophet stepped upon the mountain of Uhud, Uhud began to shake. And the Prophet realized that Uhud has become ecstatic out of happiness and joy due to this proximity and closeness that it had with the Prophet So the Prophet comforted Uhud and said, Ubusut ya Uhud, fa'inna ma'alika nabiyun wa siddiqun wa shahidan. Calm down, O Uhud. You have a Prophet, a Siddiq, and two martyrs standing upon you. And Uhud came to calm. When the tree that the Prophet would deliver khutbah besides and he would lean on this tree when the Sahaba built a pulpit for the Prophet ﷺ and he moved to it for his khutbah, this tree began to cry. And it cried so much that the Sahaba said the masjid, the mosque of the Prophet shook and it screamed and it wailed and it cried. And the Prophet came down from his member instantly over to the tree and he stroked the tree sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and it calmed down. Everything in creation has a connection to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And this is why Allah azza wa jal, he said, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةً لِلْعَالَمِينَ We did not send you except as a mercy for all of the worlds. So everything in Allah's creation, whether it be in this world or in the next world, whether it be mankind or the animals or the trees or the heavens or the earth or the waters, whatever Allah has created, Muhammad is mercy for them. Muhammad is ease for them. Muhammad is comfort for them. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This connection that the earth has with the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that when his blessed foot touched the land of illness it began it became the land of cure and it became the land of shifa it became tayba and taba such that the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam would say biturbati ardina yushfa mariduna through the blessings of our earth our ill and our sick ones are cured i.e. through the earth of madinatul munawwara the ill and those who have diseases and sicknesses, they are cured. Why? Because the beloved foot of Muhammad touched this earth 
and it became an earth which was pure and it became an earth which had cure in it. Not only that, the Prophet وسلم, he said, I was given precedence over all of the prophets by six things. And look at the first two. He said, The entire earth was made a place of prostration and a means of purification just for me. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ju'ilat li. It was made for me. I.e. when he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was born and his blessed foot touched this earth. It was purified from its east to its west. From the north to the south. The entire earth was purified by the touching of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. If this is the case with the things that are around us, with inanimate objects that we believe to be inanimate, but they have life within them through the life of the Prophet ﷺ, then imagine the state of the hearts of the believing people who when they say As-salatu was salamu alayka ya Rasulullah the Prophet said every time you say that I reply to your salam my connection to you is that when you remember me, I remember you. When you give salam to me and greet me, I greet you. And when you forget me, I still remember you. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So this connection that the believing people have to, to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, it is what Imam al-Busiri wrote in his Burda Sharifa. This Burda Sharifa, what does it begin with? Amin tazakkuri jiranin bizi salami. Mazajta dam'an jara min muqlatin bidami. Is it because of your neighbors in the salam? Amin tazakkur. Is it because you remembered your neighbors in the salam? That tears came out of your eyes. But what type of tears? Mazajta dam'an jara min muqlatin bidami. Your tears were mixed with blood, you cried so much, out of yearning, burning love for that beloved sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This is the relationship of the believing people to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And we have to revive and bring back into our lives, into our homes, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam through the reading of the Burda Sharifa. We heard from our teacher, Shaykh Usama al-Rifai, the great Shafi'i Faqih, he said, the houses of Damascus, the houses of Damascus 50, 60 years ago, they would be alive through the recitation of the Burda Sharifa. He said, when I would go on picnics with my father, the great Allama Shaykh Abdul Karim al-Rifai, he would say to me, start reciting the Burda to me and go break it down grammatically so I know that your grammar and your language and your understanding of the Arabic language is through the love of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. This is what we have to bring into our lives. And, and the brother Abdul Aziz, he recited a poem and it was amazing poetry. I can't say poetry like that, but I'm just going to leave you with, with, with something that will make you all feel that we can all write poetry. Uh, we have a tradition in our madrasa that we always ask the children to write poems about the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and we should all try this. And we've, and we've had hundreds of poems from young children about the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and I leave you with probably my most favorite and the best poem that I ever heard. One of the teachers he said to his class, "I want you all to write a poem about the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam." So all of the children they wrote poems, and one student he said. If you ask me to write a poem about the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, I will listen to this with the ears of your heart, and I'll just walk away when I, once I've said this. He said, "If you ask me to write a poem about Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, I will give you a piece of paper with my tears." Allah.